guys, thanks for joining and welcome to this week's episode. So uh, the past few days has been a bit dreadful. Um, storms has arrived in this part of the world and it's been raining for the last three or four days. And I thought what a better, what a great idea to have something soupy or something that's quite, quite comforting. So I thought about it and I decided that I'm going to make misoto for this week. And the reason why I'm making misoto is that uh, it just reminded me of the time when I first made it in Scotland and that brought a lot of memories where um, you know I was at this I was at my Airbnb and, uh, and had some guests over and one of the uh, person that was uh, maintaining the chimney at that time uh, in the cottage where I was staying um, you know he finished quite late so my friends uh, invited him to join us for dinner and that was the first time cooking in that cottage and one of the things I made was misoto, and the Scots would call it misoto. I don't know why, it's kind of funny to me. But every time when they say misoto, I, I kind of laughed, chuckled to myself. But anyway, I remember the guy, um, his name was Ronnie, and when he first tried out the uh, misoto soup, um, he was just blown away by how uh, amazing it was. Um, it was just something simple and delicious, but he just he thought that was the best soup he ever had in his life So I thought this would be a great way to uh, have the misoto soup Especially when it's raining and dreadful over here. So let's get started with today's recipe. There are two parts to this uh, recipe The first part is the soup and the spice paste and the second part is the complementary ingredients So for the spice paste what you'll need is some coriander Lemongrass, galangal, some candle nuts, but because I don't have candle nuts, I'm going to use the macadamia nuts instead. Some shallots, some fennel seeds, some cumin seeds, and white pepper. So that's the first part of the paste. Now, in order to make the soup, what you need is some chicken stock. And what I did was I bought a whole chicken and I left it in the water, uh, left it boiling for and simmer for about nearly one hour to get the stock. And one of the tips in order to get the chicken stock, what I did was I added some star anise, some cloves, and also some black pepper. And this will help to enhance the taste of the chicken broth. Next, you need some bean sprouts some coriander leaves, fried shallots, some spring onions, and some noodles. So traditionally, misoto uses uh, yellow hokkien noodles or they call it Singapore noodles in this part of the world. Uh, you can also use vermicelli, but for today, um, I'm going to use something else. And this is a two-part series, so I will let you guys know in the next vlog. And those are the ingredients for today's mee soto. So guys, I don't know about you, but I am feeling hungry uh, talking about this. So without further ado, let's get started.
It is smelling really good in the kitchen and I cannot wait to try it. So just one little tip before you serve your miso too, I would su strongly suggest using a lime wedge and squeeze this over the miso too. This will really bring the miso too to the next level. So guys, thanks very much for watching this week's episode. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the bell. And I'm not, I'm just not done yet. I'm going to do another dish uh, for next week's vlog and this is going to complement the miso too. So guys, thanks very much for watching again. I'll see you guys again soon. Take care. Ciao, ciao.